discuss about the relationships we are going to discuss about the relationships in this video okay so the relationships are also is also called as association among different entities relationships they are also called as association among different entities that means how these entities are interrelated to each other among different entities okay so in case of relationships we need to understand what is the degree of a relationship set what are the different kind of relationships which we can have for example we can have a unary relationship we can have a binary relationship we can have a ternary relationship as well as we can apply different kind of constraints on these relationships okay so the first one when i'm saying the uh, degree of a relationship set when i'm saying what is the degree degree of a relationship set it means the degree of relationship set can also be called as it specifies the number of entity sets participate or participating in the relationship set it is it specifies specifies the number of the number of entity set entity sets which are participating participating or which are participating or participates uh, in a relationship in a relationship relationship set in a relationship set that is called as degree of a relationship okay and this degree of a relationship can be uh, you know given into three ways a degree of a relationship can be unary it can be binary it can be binary it can be ternary ternary or it can be you know n array relationship the relationship can be n array relationship okay so first one is the unary unary means it is the relationship between or you can say this there are no two entities which are present in in this relationship you know uh, those you know, everything is represented by one single entity for example for example if i say we have student as a entity okay we have student as an entity right this is an entity now we can have a relationship related to the student and maybe a student like uh, maybe may having a class monitor maybe having a leader so we can say the relationship is reports to this is diamond is representing the relationship which is reports to reports to okay so you can say the you know, member of this relationship is a student and and when i'm saying the different members are also student like if i say uh, let me give you give you a better example here if i'm saying the members the members and the different are the leaders leaders okay so these leaders can be the class leader or this leader indicates the role for a particular student so here this member and the leader both these things indicate the roles for student or can say role indications role indications right so you can represent it like this students who are members of a certain group reports to the students who are leaders in that certain group right so leaders are also chosen from the students and even the members are also chosen from the student for example you have a music club or you have a programming club in your college or you may be having dramatic dramatic club in that dramatical club may be having some senior students who are acting as leaders and may be having some junior students who are acting as members so these senior students who are acting as leaders they direct in, into that group and the members of the group reports to these senior students so this is kind of a relation which is a unary relation where both or you can say both the types of entities which are participating they are student only there is one single entity is participating so second relation is the binary relation binary relation means when there are more than one entities or consider when there are exactly two entities are participating like we have employee 
we have employee as an entity and we have department as an entity we have department as an entity and the relationship is an employee works on a certain department the relationship is denoted by the works on so employee works to works in a certain department right so you can say in case of binary relationship these are the association among two entities or you can say these are the representing the relationship relationships among among two entities two entities or you can say among two entity sets that is also different way among two entity sets that that is called as a binary relationship next we have ternary relationship we have ternary relationship ternary relationship means these are the relationship between among three entities so you can say that relationships the relationship is among is among three entities three entity sets three entity sets are called as the ternary relationship right for example we have an entity set as employee a department and we can have a location right so you can represent it like this this is the first entity set which is representing an employee this is the second entity set which is the department in which this employee works it is the department and the third entity set is location assume this is representing location okay and here you can say this is the relationship among these entities so you can represent it like this so you can say the employee employee works in a department or an employee works in a certain location that is why because there are three entities which are participating in this relationship therefore this relationship is called as the ternary relationship next is called what are called as n array relationship what are called as n array relationship you can say these are the relationships which are among n entities a relationship relationship among n entities among n entities are called as an array relationship like we can have uh, this may be representing a relationship we can have like an entity here right we can have an entity here 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 so there may be more than one entities which are participating or because there are a lot of entities or you can see e n entities here like this is entity e1 this is entity e2 then we'll be having entity e3 entity e4 entity e5 entity e6 or so on the entity e n if there are n entities which are participating in a certain relationship then that and that is called as n array relationship now there are two types of constraints which we can you know apply on these entities number one is the key con constraint and second one is the participation constraint and then we are going to study something called as what is cardinality ratio cardinality of a relationship and with this key constraint participation constraint and the cardinality we will be seeing what is one to one relationship what are one to many relationship what are many to one relationship and what are many to many relationships so now let us move on to the next video so where i'm going to tell you what are key constraints and what are participation constraints